Hey, it's Mike Hayden from IntelliWolf and today we're going to walk through how to change the default color palette in GeneratePress. So what am I talking about? Come over into the customizer and then if you look under colors, let's just pick any of them. You know, in these drop down, you'll see these predefined colors. All right? So though those are useful for if you're changing anything, uh, any of the colors, but it's good to have it a consistent color scheme so you don't have to copy and paste uh, like you often find. So to do that we are going to jump across into the dashboard, I've already got this open, so to get to it under appearance you go to theme editor. Now for this you have to be using a child theme. Uh, I cover that in uh, some other places uh, on, on IntelliWolf.com, uh, how to create a child theme, So, but for this I'm assuming that you've got a child theme active uh, and that's what you're using. So uh, you make sure that you are editing that child theme, come across to theme functions, and then we are going to add some code here. So this is the first part of the code function. Uh, if you aren't familiar with PHP, don't let this scare you. Uh, it's literally just the word function, and then you can change this first part to whatever you want. I mean, you can change this whole thing, but it's got to be something that's going to be unique to the site and not used uh, anywhere else on the site, so any of the plugins or anything like that. So you, you, the longer is better, uh, and then in brackets, it just pulls in dollar palettes. Uh, so I'm going to give all this code, um, just look in the description for how to get it. It's all going to be free. Uh, so then we under dollar palettes, so it brings in here, we're just changing and these are hexadecimal values of the colors that you want. So I like my first ones to be all these zeros is black and all the F's is white and then I've just thrown in a couple of other colors just because uh, and then then it's closed off and returned. So then the second part of this code, and I swear that's all there is to it, is one more line. Let's just add a space just so it's easy to see. Uh, we're adding a line, so add filter, and then generate default color palettes. This has to be as it is. Uh, so this hooks into generate presses system, and then you connect this. So this one here has to be the same as this one here. They, they must be exactly the same. So this filter is telling this particular script, hey, go and check this for the custom palettes. That's all there is to it. Hit update file. We've updated and then let's go back into uh, the customizer. Refresh that real quick. And then let's check the colors back to where we were. And as you can see, black is first and white is uh, second. And then we've got some other custom colors you can do whatever. Uh, I literally just threw them in. So if you're not sure what to do in here, you can, you know, you can choose these, you can play around, find the color that you want. Uh, let's use that one. So then this 3796, etc. So we come back into themes and then let's make the, this one here like that. And so I literally just copied and pasted this 3796, etc. Update the file. Now when we refresh this, this yellow one will be replaced. So I'm just going to reload that real quick and go back to where we were, background color. And there you go, that's the that's the color that we found. So that's a easy way of getting the colors the way that you want. And that's how you change the default color palette in GeneratePress. Make sure that you check the description for the link to the page where I've got a list of this specific code so you don't have to type it all out and risk making mistakes. It's on IntelliWolf.com. I'll see you there.